Not everyone needs an all-powerful and glamorous phone. Ang iba just needs the basics. So that is why there is still a need or a market for phones na hindi ganoon ka-powerful tignan o pakinggan at least on the specs sheet. But it functions really well and does the job as a communication device. Lanikom po of Lanikom Views. For the past days, I have been trying out the low-priced phones and challenging it as my daily companion. Gusto ko rin matry ang mga phones na nagkakahalaga ng mga around 6,000 pesos or below if it can satisfy my communication needs. So what I am showcasing today is the Umidi G A13s. It is a low-priced phone and I tried it for my daily communication needs. Simula natin sa spec list. Ang processor nito ay Unisoc T310 processor with 4GB of RAM, mayroong 32 or 64GB storage. Ang camera ay 16MP main and 8MP ultrawide. Sa front camera naman may 8MP camera. Ang display ay 6.7 inches with 720p resolution. Battery is 5150mAh at ang price nito is around 5700 pesos up to 6,400 pesos, depende sa storage variant. So ngayon, samahan nyo ako sa ating unboxing. This is the yellow box of the Umidi G A13s. Upon opening, this is the phone. The clear soft case ay naka-install na dito sa ating phone. The phone is with a screen protector also, pre-installed. The back is with a protective film na nakalagay ang mga functions ng mga buttons. Next layer is the envelope containing the SIM ejector pin and documentations. It's the USB-A to USB-C charging and data cable. And the 10 watt charger. So ngayon, tignan natin ang phone. Let me describe to you the build and look of the Umidi G E13s. What I have here is the gold color. Unang impression, gusto ko at maganda ang color nito. Bihira ang gold color ngayon sa mga phones. And para sa isang murang phone, hindi mukhang cheap ang Umidi G A13s kapag tinignan. This is also available in black and blue color. Textured or matte ang back nito. This is made of plastic and it feels like one. Ang textured back, medyo may pagka-paper pa nga ang feel nito. Kagandahan nito, no fingerprint marks na naiiwan sa phone. Kaya mukhang masarap gamitin ng walang clear case. And I like that. May print sa likod na... Beyond Dreams, iyan ang statement ng Umidi G and I noticed sa mga past phones releases nila, nakasulat itong Beyond Dreams. I'm really not a fan ng mga big word na nakaprint sa phone. But this one is very subtle and sometimes I forget it is there dahil hindi nga masyadong nakikita. Lalong-lalo na kung nakakabit ang clear case. The design followed the boxy edges na nauuso ngayon. Flat ang sides and merong cornered edges at kaya nga niyang tumayo mag-isa kapag pinatong ng pag -anito. It is weighing 200 grams, average ito on big phones like this. And yes, it is a bit big, makakasanayan din naman kapag hinawakan ito and I find it very comfortable to hold when the case is installed. Nakakatulong ito for the grip ng phone and of course, the case protects the phone. Tignan naman natin ang sides ng phone. Sa bottom part, a microphone, the USB port for charging and data transfers here, and the loudspeaker. At the top, another microphone and the 3.5mm headphone port. Sa left side ng phone, we have the SIM tray and the keyhole. Dual SIM at may dedicated slot para sa micro SD card. Also here on the left is the shortcut key where you can customize a command such as flashlight or screenshot. And you can also assign an app to open when clicking this or double-clicking this or if you are holding this button. Sa back, we have two cameras and a LED flash. The cluster is enclosed on a rounded rectangular bump. In front, a glass screen and no branding specified dito kung anong klaseng protection meron siya. Front-facing camera at the top center. We have the ambient light and proximity sensor around here. At the top most, the ear speaker. Wala tayong fingerprint scanner here so we use the front camera for the face unlock. Face unlock is fast and sometimes I thought there is a fingerprint scanner on the power button because the face unlock works well. But again, wala tayong fingerprint scanner sa Umidi G A13S. 
The display is 6.7 inches large diagonally with 720p resolution and it is an IPS LCD. Okay na ito para sa price niya and vivid enough naman para sa isang low-priced phone. Na-enjoy ko naman siya at very usable while watching videos and even playing games. I can complain sa 720p resolution because it displays what I need to see and okay na din to para dagdag tipid battery. 20.6 by 9 aspect ratio at 6.7 inches diagonally is quite tall. Viewing angles is okay and bright enough for daily use. When it comes to its sound, basic single speaker is here at the bottom. Nothing spectacular but it does the job. We still have the 3.5mm headphone port for music and sound. Basic and you hear what you need. And check this out, pwede ang FM radio without the earphones. And this is a cool thing. As a communication device, it can connect to 2G, 3G, and 4G cellular networks. Wala tayong 5G connectivity here. Voice over LTE? Check! For Wi-Fi, it supports 2.4 and 5 GHz. It can connect to Bluetooth and it can also be a Wi-Fi hotspot. Sa sensors, GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, and Galileo, may proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, accelerometer, and electronic compass. And as a phone, it connects well to voice calls and internet. So pang tawag, text, and internet, check, check, check. Sa battery and charging naman, ito ay may 5,150 mAh battery. In my day-to-day -day use, it lasts for more than a day. Ito ay yung phone na di ako nag-aalala na malolobat ako in the middle of the day. Kayang-kaya niya ang buong araw. Great performance sa power endurance. As observed, nakaka-16 hours screen on time ako. Dahil na din ito sa low power consumption ng screen, just enough processing power ng processor, and the big battery. We have a Type-C port here for charging and this is the 10W charger and it takes 3 hours and 10 minutes for Humidigi A13S to be filled up from 0 to 100%. And now let's go to the software and performance. With no custom skin, stock Android but not Android 1. And thank you, walang bloatware dito, all the basic apps as it can be. All apps are here at the home screen and no app menu by default but you can enable it if you want in the settings. Swipe left and right for the menu icons and swipe left for the Google app. When you swipe down, it will reveal the notification banners and toggle switches. My screen recording here and other settings and shortcuts. This phone is using Unisoc T310. With graphics processor Imagination Power VR GE8300. Ito ay may 4GB of RAM working space. Unisoc T310 is a quad core processor. Yes, quad, four cores. Using it as my daily phone, after two weeks bago ko nalaman na quad core lang pala ito. But surprisingly, I did not feel the phone sluggish. Pwede pa lang hindi ganun kabagal ang isang quad core processor. And pwede pa pala ito ngayon. First impression kasi sa processor ng Unisoc and lalo na quad-core ito, mukhang not so good. But to be fair, the day-to-day -day experience is good enough. Do not expect lang na merong snappy experience on heavy tasks like video editing or heavy games. This phone is for the daily life apps like banking, shopping, communication, and that's it. It performs quite well. Pagdating naman sa gaming, so alam nating Unisoc T310 quad-core processor ito na may 4GB of RAM. So, can it game? I played Pokemon Unite on this phone and by default, hindi recommended ang highest frame rate. But still, I set it sa high because I like the smooth gameplay. And surprised ako dahil it played well here in Humidity G A13S. And this is not bad at all. Huwag namang mag-expect lang ng malupit na graphics sa mga heavy graphics game, pero sa ganitong games, okay na siya. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa photography and cameras. Ito ay may two cameras, one 16 megapixel at 2.2 aperture and an ultra wide na 2.2 den. And thank you, this is the ideal camera pair for me, isang main lens and ultra wide. It has several camera modes, the main camera, and we have the ultra wide toggle here. 
Meron nitong panorama, pro mode, burst, video, time lapse, interval, filter, QR scanner, and night pro. But does it take good photos? It takes photos and that is it. Nothing spectacular. And here are some samples and be the judge ng mga photo samples ng Umidi G A13S. Napansin ko lang, taking pictures is not that snappy. May kaunting delay, so hold Umidi G A13S steadily after clicking the shutter button. Camera is not its strength, but it can take shots if you really need them. And now, to wrap up the overview, what is my opinion on Umidi G A13S? So let me remind you, this is a low-priced phone. Around mga 5,000 to 6,500 pesos ang price niya. So sa mga low-priced phone tulad nito, ito ang ilan sa mga advantages na nakita ko. Una, it has great design. It feels plastic but it doesn't look cheap. It looks great actually. Nasasabay din naman sa uso ang design and also the size and grip is nice to your hands. Second, it does not feel sluggish. It is not super fast but hindi ako nabagalan on daily use for basic apps like shopping, banking, and social media. Next advantage nito is the battery life. Mahaba ang battery life nito and thanks to the 5150 mAh battery, low power consumption ng Unisoc quad-core processor, sa mga pangangailangan nyo sa casual communications like calls, text, social media, tatagal talaga sa inyo ang Umidi G A13S. This is not for the heavy gamers tulad ng mga naglalaro ng Genshin Impact dahil mahihirapan talaga siya mag-process ng high graphics games. And also, this is not for the photography enthusiast. So I guess you can check out the Umidi G A13 Pro for the better performance on these departments. Just to communicate, and this is why we have the low-cost phones that doesn't have the fancy and extravagant features that makes the phone expensive. We just want to communicate and this is the baseline. And this is what Umidi G A13S delivers. And that is it. I hope nakatulong ito para ma-experience ninyo ang phone sa panonood lamang. Subscribe to Lanikom Views and check out din sa ating social media accounts. Comment kayo at pag-usapan natin ang mga views ninyo and learn from each other. This is Lanikom of Lanikom Views. Hanggang sa muli!